Morning, all me here, and today you've got another your call. Uh, yeah, and as Vicky goes, I'm so insulted because this is from the live stream, and uh, when I'm on the live stream, you've got to have people talking in the party, otherwise it just sounds like me talking to no one. Uh, so you're gonna have to have her in the background talking because at the time I was telling her to go make me a sandwich, and she took offense, but it was all in good jest. So yes, welcome to another Your Call video, and you're probably noticing that I sound a little bit different today, and that's because I've got yet a different microphone. I have uh, finally uh, forked out and actually downgraded my microphone to a snowball. I had the Yeti, as some of you will remember, and the problem is the Yeti is so good and so powerful it's impractical for me to use it. Um, it. It picks up everything in my room, which is great, which is what it's supposed to do, but for me there's way too much ambient noise in my room. My computer's far too close to where I can record, and my power fans were just really annoying me. Now, in the rendering it wasn't so bad, but when I was doing recording, and especially on the live stream, I couldn't use my, my high mic because I, uh, uh, X splitter was definitely picking it up, so I couldn't use that. So I've decided to buy myself a a uh, snowball, and I bought myself a, like a shock mount and a pop filter and stuff. And I'm actually waiting on um, a, a boom arm to set it up all nice. So hopefully today oh, I sound a little bit different and still quite as good and clear. So yes. Anyway, today is your call, your topics, and we, we talk about your stuff. Um, I've got one here from the True Randomness. Who says, what's your opinion on youngish kids that are gaming COD, obviously? Provide some very good examples why you shouldn't let a 13 kid anywhere near a console. And then there's some more about stereotypes and what I think. So basically he's asking, what's my opinion on, on young kids playing of the Xbox? And yes, um, I yeah, it's, it's a difficult one. Because obviously uh, kids of that age aren't mature enough to be in... Uh, let free, as it were, in a, a social, social, social like oh, playground, as it were. Um, obviously, that's where all the grief comes from, where adults are trying to play and have you know banter between adults, and then some some young kid comes in and uh, gets full in the face, and then starts raging. And yes, it, it's a difficult one. I don't think there is actually a solution for it. Whether uh, kids should be playing, I think there should definitely be in games that are big enough for it, and COD being a, a a prime example of it. Maybe there should be some sort of, you know, segregation. Is that the right word? Uh, where young people can go and play with other young people, and adults can like there maybe be an 18s only, which is ironic considering the game is an 18s only. Um, I don't know quite how it, uh, but yes, certainly I'm not fond of um, playing with like the stereotypical squeaky uh, kid. Uh, but then again, I have um, a number of very young friends on uh, Xbox, and that sounds very perverted, but you know exactly what I mean. Uh, prime example, he's been in several of my videos in the background uh, playing is Cameron. Uh, he's he's very young, but he's uh, he's a sound chap, and uh, yeah, he's he's the exact opposite of what everyone complains about when you, you talk about kids on Xbox. So I don't think there's anything we can do about it, um, except just mute them and show our distaste for them when they when they play up, as we all know they will. So, yes, I, I don't think there is anything we can really do about it. Uh, what was another one? What's my opinion on Counter-Strike Global Offensive? And will I be getting it for the PC or PS3 or Xbox? And that was from 10Bs01. Uh, right, now I ha I did have a look at this a few months ago, obviously this was posted a month ago when all the this stuff was coming out about it. I've seen videos of it and what have you, and uh, I should preface this by saying I am a very, uh, I have, sorry, very fond memories of playing Counter-Strike and Counter-Strike Source. Um, it was the, the first game that I really got into online, like competitively or really wanted to get good at. Uh, I think the first game I actually ever played online multiplayer was Team Fortress Classic, and then I quickly changed over to Counter-Strike. Um, I never did the Half-Life Deathmatch thing or anything, but uh, Global Offensive, what I've seen of it, I haven't exactly been impressed with. They're, they're trying to do a graphic update but leave everything the same, but it's inherent with any group of people who take on a project that's loved. I mean, look at things like Lord of the Rings or 
or any IP where they try and make movies from it or something, it inevitably never going to make people happy. I mean, books to movies is a prime example, uh, and, and it's, it's of the same problem, you know, going from one type of old game and trying to recreate it in a modern style graphics uh, and modern, like, uh, consoles and what have you and port it across. I don't think... Um, that they should have done what they've done. I don't think they should have gone for a, a remake. I think they should have just gone, look, uh, we want to have the same sort of play style as Counter-Strike, but we're going to do a whole new everything, and we're not going to try and replicate. We're just going to try and move forward. But I think they, they were scared of that as well. Um, yes, I, I'm personally not going to be buying it for PC because I'm pretty sure within about 30 seconds it's going to be hacked. And playing cheaters on PC is just one way to get absolutely pissed. So I'm not going to be playing it on the PC. Xbox, uh, sorry, PS3, I won't be buying it on either because currently I don't have a PS3. There are plans for me to buy a cheap one, uh, probably around Christmas time, uh, simply for playing... Uh, like uh, single player games or co-op games and stuff that are like, like PC, uh, sorry PC, PS3 exclusive games and stuff. Uh, Xbox is obviously my main first person shooter gaming machine. Uh, depends on how expensive it is. If it's relatively cheap and the controls aren't too hash, um, then obviously I will be picking that up and probably having a play of it. Uh, so yes, I can't say whether or not uh, I will be enjoying that or not. From what I've seen, though, like, I mean, they, the prime example of what I'm talking about is the crosshair. I mean, the traditional crosshair in uh, Counter-Strike on the PC, anyway, was the four white dots, white line dots. But from what I've seen, they put, like, this square box thing around it as well. And I know the Xbox version of PlayStation had, like, a red dot in the middle of it to help with aiming. Um, so, um, yeah, just like little things like that. I mean, why would you feel the need to change that? If you're trying to replicate what the original game was, you try and stay as close to it as uh, as absolutely uh, you could. Yeah. So, yeah, stand by your beds for that one, I think, chaps. Um, I'll, I'll obviously give it a go if there's a demo or a trial. So, uh, yeah. Um, right, we're, we've got a couple of minutes left. Let's do another one. Oh, right, from Gaming Chubs. I know you've given me quite a few chubs, and uh, I'm just going to pick this one because it's up on my screen. Uh, opinions on community channels are most of them scams and a waste of our time, or of time. Um, right, well, <laughs> community channels are very big, uh, and they do tend to grow quite rapidly. Um, whether they're of any use to people who are... I don't know, there's this whole attitude on YouTube at the minute of you've got to grow, you've got to go get bigger, you've got to, got to somehow, you know, become one of these top dogs and stuff. And I find that really uh, peculiar myself. I mean, I've got no aspirations of being anything other than doing what I do and having fun doing it. So um, this whole competitive edge, I mean, people seem to treat it like a game as well as the games they're playing. You know, like, oh, I've just managed to get 10 subs today. You know, way, give me an achievement for it or something. I, I, I'm a bit bemused by it. It kind of skips me by. I don't really get it. So um, the whole um, appeal of community sites is to get into wider audiences and, like, sub-steal, as it were, and stuff. And uh, so I'm not going to... I agree that a lot of times people shouldn't be on community sites simply because either they're not experienced enough on doing their stuff to belong there on, like, certain ones. Uh, when I was on GVA... Uh, there was definitely some people coming onto it that shouldn't have been there. Um, whether they're scams or not, I don't. I don't see how that any of them can be scams. I mean, it, yeah, people. I mean, the community channel itself growing off the backs of people is just inherent. You know, obviously, when someone goes, "Oh, I'm on a community site," their subs are going to automatically go across to them, but not so many are going to come the other way. So. Um, yeah, I would say for the most part. I mean, other than like the really big ones, such as like say cod ops or um machinima obviously and stuff then ones you know they, they they are what they are and the community will always support them so but the the smaller ones yeah probably i wouldn't i wouldn't waste your time with and just continue to do what you do and have fun doing it anyway we are at the end i hope you enjoyed my sniper gameplay and i shall see you again real soon bye bye now